Hi guys, welcome to the channel. NASA designs near light speed engine that breaks laws of physics. An engine idea that can accelerate to 99% of the speed of light, all without the need for propellant. That may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's not. This is exactly what one of NASA's engineers is developing, and it promises to break the laws of physics. And in today's video, we will be showing you NASA's new thruster engine that breaks the laws of physics reaching the speed of light. Without further ado, let's begin. How will these engines be developed? If it is going to work without propellant, then what will be its fuel? And most importantly, will a human be able to travel in a vehicle with such an engine as its thruster? Well, we will find out in just a second. When it comes to space, we have a problem with our human need to travel everywhere and observe everything. This is a major issue. It is, after all, space. It's far too large. Even if we travel at the greatest speed permitted by the universe, it would take us years to reach our nearest neighboring star. Another human urge is to discover answers to large challenges. In his leisure time, NASA engineer David Burns has been doing just that. He developed an engine idea that he claims can accelerate to 99% of the speed of light, all without the need for propellant. He's uploaded it to NASA's technical report server under the title Helical Engine, and it works on paper by taking advantage of how mass may change at relativistic speeds, those near the speed of light in a vacuum. It has not yet been reviewed by a professional. Understandably, this article has sparked interest comparable to that witnessed in the early days of the EM drive. Yes, there have been some stories suggesting that the engine may break the rules of physics. For a bit of context, it's important to know that the aforementioned EM drive was NASA's first foray into the idea of actually trying to build an engine capable of faster-than-light travel. So what exactly is EM drive at all? First introduced by Roger Scheuer, a British chartered electrical engineer with 48 years of experience in space and defense industries, in 2001, EM drive is a radio frequency resonant cavity thruster idea with possible uses as a spaceship thruster. It is claimed to create thrust by internally reflecting microwaves in violation of the law of conservation of movement and other physical principles. The media has frequently referred to the gadget as the impossible drive. Explanations for how the EM drive could function go beyond the limits of known physics. Perhaps it's interacting with space quantum time's vacuum energy, despite the fact that space quantum time's vacuum energy doesn't enable anything to push off of it. Perhaps our notion of momentum has been shattered. Perhaps it's brand new physics, as announced by the EM drive tests. There is no official design for this device, and neither of the persons who claim to have developed it has committed to explaining how it may function as a thruster or what elements constitute it, making it impossible to determine whether a particular object is an example of such a device. NASA's Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory reported observing a small apparent thrust from one such test in 2016, a result that has not since been replicated. Subsequent studies have indicated that the thrust observed was a measurement error caused by interaction with the Earth's magnetic field, or thermal gradients. In March 2021, scientists from the Technical University of Dresden published three papers explaining that it was a total fluke. The thrust was explained by outside forces. As for the Helica engine, while it is intriguing, it is unlikely to defy the laws of physics anytime soon, despite the claims. Although it has been met with skeptics from some quarters, Burns believes his concept is worth pursuing. Well, Burn depicts a box with a weight inside, strung with a line and a spring at either end, bouncing the weight back and forth as a thought experiment to demonstrate his notion. In a vacuum, such a space, this would jiggle the entire box, with the weight appearing to remain motionless, much like a gif stabilized around the weight. If you are enjoying the video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos just like this. Overall, the box would continue to wiggle in the same location, however, if the weight's mass increased in only one direction, it would create a stronger push in that direction, hence thrust. What do you think? We think this should not be entirely feasible, according to the concept of momentum conservation, which states that the momentum of a system remains constant in the absence of any external influences. Einstein's theory of special relativity says that objects gain mass as they are driven towards the speed of light, 
an effect that must be accounted for in particle accelerators. In fact, a simplistic implementation of Burns' concept would be to replace the ring with a circular particle accelerator, in which ions are swiftly accelerated to relativistic speeds during one stroke and decelerated during the other. But Burns thinks it would make much more sense to ditch the box and rod and employ the particle accelerator for the latter as well as the circular movement, in which case the accelerator would need to be shaped like a helix. However, there is a particular relativity flaw. Objects gain mass when they approach the speed of light, according to special relativity. So, if the weight is replaced with ions in the box with a loop, the ions can potentially move quicker at one end of the loop and slower at the other. Burns' drive, on the other hand, isn't a single closed loop. It's helical, like a stretched out spring, which is why it's called a helical engine. The engine accelerates ions confined in a loop to moderate relativistic speeds and then varies their velocity to make slight changes to their mass. The helical chamber would have to be huge, according to new scientists. To accelerate, it is 200 meters, which is approximately 656 feet long, and 12 meters, which is approximately 40 feet in diameter. It would also require 165 megawatts of energy to produce one newton of thrust. That is the force necessary to accelerate a kilogram of mass per second squared, which is comparable to a power plant. Proposal for propulsion-free vehicles like Helica aren't exactly new, though. Robert Cook, a U.S. inventor, patented an engine in the late 1970s that allegedly turned centrifugal energy into linear motion. Then, in the early 2000s, British inventor Roger Scheuer suggested the previously mentioned EM drive, claiming that trapped microwaves might be converted into thrust. Neither notion has been satisfactorily proved, and both are commonly considered to be impossible, owing to a breach of fundamental physical rule, the conservation of motion. Again, physicists from the Technical University of Dresden, who have performed tests on the EM drive, believe the helical engine will probably suffer the same problem. All inertial propulsion systems, to my knowledge, never worked in a friction-free environment, one of them says. This machine makes use of special relativity, unlike the others, which complicates the picture, he says, but, unfortunately, there is always action-reaction. Burns has worked on his idea in secret, without the support of NASA, and he admits that it is enormously inefficient. He claims, however, that there is the possibility to capture most of the energy that the accelerator loses through heat and radiation. He also offers techniques to conserve momentum, such as in the spin of the propulsion ions. So guys, let me know down in the comment section below, what are your thoughts about it? For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video!